I'm Dave Cathy, the food dude, and I'm today at American Propane, where a couple of the local chefs are going to show us that there's more to smoking than barbecue. We've got all kinds of interesting things to show you, and very interesting techniques, and some devices that you might not think you can smoke with, but you can. So let's check it out. We're going to do some smoking today. The chefs Tyrell and Adam. Guys, tell me about what you're doing today. Well, today we're doing a uh, we're doing some non-traditional smoked items. Okay. Uh, you know, most people around here it's brisket and ribs. Uh, today we're actually doing we're doing a prime rib. We're doing some pork bellies. We're smoking some brisket and we're smoking some uh, fish. Most people are used to uh, maybe some smoked salmon, mm -hmm. but we've actually went out and found a, a fish, a smoked sturgeon. It's oh. uh, it's an interesting fish from up the northwest uh, part of the country, so it's, it, go, it takes on smoke flavor very well. And we're going to do smoked shrimp. It's not something cool. people see a lot around here a lot, so I think it'll be a, a nice little change. Okay. Now, if you're using a propane grill at home, you're going to, you're going to turn off one side and leave the other on and load? Yeah. What you're doing there is you're doing an indirect smoke. Okay. And uh, Pro American Propane carries some. It's a Sam's uh, Cooker. It's, uh, it won the Veritas uh, Smoke, uh, smoke uh, Award for Backyard Barbecue. And it actually, you convert a gas grill to a smoker. Okay. And... Uh, on that product is that what you have is some of these have smoke trays. You can actually burn your smoke off to the side, mm -hmm. use an indirect heat off to the left or right of your grill, and uh, what you're doing is you got your smoke and your heat on one side, and it actually rolls over to your your food, and you're cooking at a low temp. It's similar to uh, almost similar to a cold smoke. I see. But you're keeping your temperatures around 200 degrees. Keeping it low and slow. Yep. Very good. And, and also they got these the green egg devices. That's a whole different kind of. Yeah, they've got green eggs, and uh, they they do the primo. The primo mm -hmm. oven is uh, kind of where they. Where they get it now, it's the same shape as the uh, green egg, but their the premium one is uh, oval shape because okay. you know when you buy a grill, you're not buying a your square grill. You right. know, you're not buying a round grill. You're mm -hmm. buying square because you can get a rack of ribs. Mm -hmm. You can get a brisket, and you don't lose near as much room as you mm -hmm. do with a round surface. Okay. So that's like their their top model. So tell me about some of the woods that you might smoke with. Some of the woods that we're smoking with today is, is you're not traditional uh, hickory or mesquite. Today we're using alder wood, which mm -hmm. is a uh, European style wood. They use that a lot over in Europe. We're using a sweet wood blend, which is a fruit woods. We're using cherry, apricot, peach, along that line. So cherry, where it's all blended together, it gives a nice mellow smoke. We're smoking uh, cheese with that. A, hick a, a hickory alder blend that I, okay. we mix it. You get a little bit of the hickory flavor and a smoother uh, flavor from the alder. Well, Jim Kelly, how long have you guys been at it? Been at it since 1936. My granddad started the company and was more like uh, into everything that uh, ran off of uh, gas. Uh, first propane company in Oklahoma, and I just when I came on in 1975, I, I uh, you know how that third generation can be. They start <laughs> thinking about uh, maybe getting out of what the focus was supposed to be, which was propane, and we got into uh, the toys that ran off mm -hmm. the, the the batteries. Uh, so. Uh, the propane being the fuel, and the uh, and the uh, the uh, toys were outdoor cookers, and we got into this uh, by request from my mother. She said, "You need to knock a hole down through that wall, build a cabana out here. People are building outdoor kitchens like never before, but you need to give them a a studio mm -hmm. to, uh, to to shop from and see what it's like." And and I did it on faith, and it's uh, grown exponentially since then. So we, we carry natural gas, obviously, mm -hmm. because that's, that's the majority of our uh, clientele mm -hmm. is using natural gas uh, to fuel their outdoor, and it's a convenience sure. issue. It's, uh, so we're, we're, we're getting into uh, classes like this to assist mm -hmm. our um, outdoor kitchen people mm -hmm. that uh, maybe are used to cooking hamburgers and hot dogs, mm -hmm. now come out here and learn how to do some fabulous food. Yeah. That's and that's cool. how we got started on this. I see. Well, you guys have pretty much anything that a person would need for outdoor entertaining, it looks like to me. <laughs> well, we're, we're certainly uh, open for any suggestions <laughs> that uh, we may not have. But we've got some of the best chefs, and we have guest chefs all the time mm -hmm. come here. And uh, So how do people find you? Uh, 
And they can find us uh, by just south of uh, Wilshire on uh, Broadway, Broadway Extension. Extension. We've been here since 93. Okay. And our main store is down on Exchange, which is down by uh, the Stockyards, mm -hmm. Cattlemen's, and that area. That's our original store. Mm -hmm. And then we added this store on Broadway Extension in 93. And you've got a pretty good website, too. I can got a good website. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're looking at that as being a, uh, an informational more than a sales tool for us. Because mm -hmm. we, we're really landlocked on where we can ship these products Very by the manufacturer. So it's an informational, and then they come in, and we assist with outdoor construction as far as cabanas, and uh, we've got some excellent uh, uh, designers, mm -hmm. in case the homeowners like me. Sure. They know what they like after they've seen it, but they mm -hmm. can't, you know, <laughs> you know, so we've got that too. You got it all. But it's outdoor entertaining. We're showing them how to do it. We're showing them what to cook. Mm -hmm. They get to eat it all. Mm -hmm. They leave with recipes and uh, go home and duplicate it. And it's perfect on Thursday nights when we do these because it sets them up for the weekend, it's still fresh, mm -hmm. and they can invite their guests over and uh, duplicate that. Awesome, well I think it's time we go check some of it out. Let's do it. All right.